Are you guys ready for the Bible story? Today we're going to talk about someone who's in disguise. <gasps> Have you ever been in disguise before? <gasps> so people can't tell who you are? <gasps> I'm a super spy. <laughs> Let's hear the Bible story and see where it goes. Big things have happened in this story. Perhaps the biggest events the world has ever seen. His followers have experienced faith-shaking disappointment, an earth-shattering feeling of defeat by seeing their teacher, their rabbi, die. Their high hopes for Jesus are gone. But what they see as defeat, we now look at and see as a great victory. Jesus was raised from the dead. Our disciples don't know that yet but they are about to find out from the man himself. The same day Jesus was raised back to life, two of Jesus' followers were going to a village called Emmaus. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked about those things, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but God kept them from recognizing him. Jesus asked them, What are you talking about? They stood still, and their faces were sad. You must be a visitor to Jerusalem. If you lived there, you would know the things that have happened there in the last few days. What things? About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet. He was powerful in what he said and, and did and in the eyes of God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed Jesus over to be sentenced to death. They nailed him to a cross. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to set Israel free. Some of our women amazed us too. Early this morning, they went to the tomb, but they didn't find his body. They saw angels who said Jesus was alive. They didn't see the body of Jesus there. Jesus said to them, How foolish you are! How long it takes you to believe all that the prophets said! Didn't the Christ have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? Jesus explained to them what was said about himself in all the scriptures. He began with Moses and the prophets. The two men approached the village where they were going. Jesus acted as if he were going farther, but they tried to keep him from leaving. They said, Stay with us. It's nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. He joined them at the table. Then he took bread and gave thanks. Their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But then he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, he talked to us on the road. He opened the scriptures to us. Weren't our hearts burning inside us during this time? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them. They were all gathered together. They were saying, It's true! The Lord has risen! He has appeared to Simon! Then the two of them told what had happened to them on the way. Even though things happen which you may not understand, if your hope is in God, you're safe and secure. Do you guys want to board my boat? Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Wait, but you got to put on your life jackets first. Bloop, bloop. I heard the sea is going to be a little bit rough today. I hope you guys don't mind. See, it's already swaying. You guys want to sway with me? Whoa. Oh, look. It's baby shark. Do, 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 do. Oh, grandpa shark and daddy shark. Ah! Oh no, the waves are going crazy! Ah, what are we gonna do? There's a hole in the boat! Quick, somebody get the tape! Ah. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, it's crazy! Quick, we should go to the harbor, guys! Quick, get the paddles! Everybody row! Row the boat! Quick! Quick, we, got, we have to dock. We have to get something strong to keep our boat from floating away, guys. Oh, let's see what I got. Oh, a shoe. Bloop. That's not going to work. Uh, 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 this anchor might work. It's just so heavy. <sighs> Whew. Yeah. We did it. We're safe, guys. <sighs> Anchors really help you. Do you guys know how heavy an anchor is? It's like the size of two 
humpback whales. That's really, really heavy. I don't think you're going anywhere if you have an anchor. Sometimes, though, we rely on the shoe, and we think we're, you know, we get a little bit, we think, we get a little bit scared, maybe like the dark, and we get a little bit scared, and we go, oh no, the bad guy, the monster's gonna get me. But we have to remember, God's got us, because we have an anchor in him. He's got us, he's protecting us. We might think, oh no, I have to start something new, like swimming or school. It's too hard to meet new people. Oh no, and then the boat gets a little bit shaky. But we gotta remember, God's got us. In him, we're safe and secure. That's today's big point. Um, And if my hope is in Jesus, I'm safe and secure. Can you guys say that with me? If my hope is in Jesus, I'm safe and secure. So if sometimes you get a little bit worried and you think, it's dark outside, something's going to get me. Or there's, you know, mm, a bad dream. Or you're scared you're going to get sick. You got to remember, God's got you and the anchor's strong. And you don't have to worry about the boat rocking because you're safe and you're secure. In Hebrews 6 verse 19, it says, I have hope as an anchor for my soul, firm and secure. And that's something that you can always keep in your heart no matter what's happening in your life. Well, I hope you guys are ready for the next part. (gasps) The big word! Hey, hey, so get to your feet, get on your little dancing beat, and let's go for it. But before that, I think we should pray. Dear Jesus, I just thank you that you are our anchor and that our hope is in you and that we can be steadfast and know that we don't have to worry about anything because you got us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's go to the big word.
me, give me two snaps. 